All right, so first exercise of the day. Um, I'm going to demonstrate each exercise before we start going uh, so that you can see a preview of what the exercise is going to look like and any modifications that are needed. Please remember you are participating in this exercise program at your own risk with your doctor's clearance. If you feel any pain or discomfort, please modify the exercise and do whatever feels best for you. We'll do a total body workout. I think today we're going to focus mostly on the triceps and we'll do some a lot of glute stuff, okay? All right, so first exercise that we're going to do is going to be a squat with a squeeze back kick. The squeeze back kick is going to activate our glutes. So we're going to squat and then I keep my legs straight mostly. My knee isn't locked but I'm squatting and I squeeze it back. I squat and I squeeze back. My foot is flexed as I squeeze and I'm activating that hamstring and that glute as I bring that leg back, okay? And then I return right back to the fluid squat. If that's too much for you and you don't feel comfortable squatting, you can just do the squeezes standing on one leg, still activating that glute and that hamstring muscle, okay? If you would like some extra resistance, feel free to grab some dumbbell throughout. You can hold it at your chest. It's probably the best one big dumbbell at your chest, so lift the dumbbell down by your side. All right, so we'll get started. You're ready. Feet are gonna be about hip width apart. Squat position, chest is lifted. Bend those knees, bring one leg back. Return to that squat, squeeze back. Good, squat and squeeze. Squat and squeeze. Good, chest is up, sitting in those heels. As you bring that leg back, bring it back as far as you can comfortably and squeeze those glutes. Good job. Down low and squeeze. Excellent job, ladies, keep it going. Squat and squeeze, squat and squeeze. We have four more squats. Good, that's three, that's two, and last one. Good job, give it a little rest here. Excellent, we're gonna do the same thing. If you can read my shirt, it says fun, 40, and fit. I turned 40 on what, on Tuesday, and my sister gave me this as a gift. It's crazy, can't believe I'm in a new decade. All right, ready, we're gonna start set two. So I'm just gonna give you this, this side. Ready and go. Squat, squeeze. Squat, squeeze. Squat in those heels, squeeze the glute. Squat, squeeze the glute. You're gonna feel those hamstrings activated. Good. Remember, foot is flexed on the kickback. You're kicking back and a little bit at an angle, slightly out. Good, sit in those heels and squeeze. Excellent job. Breathe, chest is lifted. You've got this. Breathe, kick. Good, we have three, two, last squat. Excellent, take a little rest. We have one more set. Then we're gonna do a lunge with a kickback, almost the exact same thing, but in a lunge position. All right, ready, toes are forward. Chest is up, sit in those heels, squat low, squeeze it back. Sit in those heels, squeeze it back. Excellent. We almost have the green light to open the studios, which is great news for any of those who are excited to come back. Good job, ladies. Sit in those heels, squeeze those glutes. Awesome. Sit in those heels, get those glutes low, chest is up, kick. Go at your own rate. If I'm moving too fast for you, just slow it down. Good, and that's three, and two, and last one, excellent job. All right, so now you're gonna set up your lunge into a stationary lunge. One foot is in front, back foot is up on the toe. You're gonna bend both knees, back knee comes down to the ground, squeeze the top leg, return right back into that lunge. Squeeze the top leg. So it's a lunge and a kick. So it's an extension from my hamstring and my glute right up towards the ceiling, okay? Let's start with the left foot out in front, back foot up on the toe. 
feel free to hold two dumbbells at your side if you want more of a challenge. Otherwise, your body weight is fine. Bend that right knee straight to the ground. Kick up. Good. Bend, squeeze. Weight is in that front heel. Good, so you're pushing off the ground from the left heel. The back leg, as it bends, the toe comes down, just slightly touching the ground as you bend your knee. And you're taking your right leg and kicking it up, heel towards the ceiling as high as you can comfortably get it. Good, make them fluid. Bend right into it and kick it up. Good, bend, squeeze. Excellent. And we have three, and we have two, and last one. Good job, take a rest. Excellent work. We shall now switch and go to the opposite side. Right leg comes in front, left leg behind. Chest is lifted, core is tight, keep those shoulders square. Bend that left knee down, good, and kick. Good, land fluid and kick. Try not to lean forward, even during your kick. I'm almost trying to poke my head straight through the ceiling as I kick, that as I kick my leg back. Good. Control. Weight in that front heel. Good, squeezing that glute. And hand the up towards the ceiling. Good, keep it going, breathe through it. Good, we have four, three, two, and last one. Good job, take a rest. We're gonna do one more set on each leg. Back to the left leg out in front. Right foot up on that toe, set up that good lunge position. Remember your back knee should be coming straight towards the ground not shifting forward and go bend and kick good keep those shoulders if you can stacked on top of those hips weight in that front heel sorry i keep repeating myself excellent good we're working on those legs we'll breathe through it keep it going Come down low and squeeze it up. Down low and squeeze. Excellent, you've got this. We have four more. That's four and kick. Three and two and last one. Good job, take a rest. We'll set up for our final set on that right side. All right, right leg is in front. Left foot behind up on the toe, nice tight core. Ready, good, bend that back knee, weight in that front heel, squeeze that leg. Excellent job. Good, challenge yourself if you can, if your knees are healthy. Get low in that lunge without touching the ground. So you're having nice, good, deep range of motion. Good, keep breathing through it. Excellent. Good, you've got this. Down low, squeeze it up. Good, press through that front heel. Final four, so that's three, that's two, and last one. Good job, I forgot to mute us. I see someone's dog has joined our workout today. Let me just do that real quick. Which I'm very happy to have furry friends join us. All right, we're going to go into some triceps. So we're gonna do behind the head triceps. You can either grab one weight for this or two. It's completely up to you. If you have one weight, you would hold it right in the center here. Drop the elbows back, extend right up. If you have two weights, hold one weight in each hand, bend, then extend, 
okay? So grab either two weights or one, whichever you prefer. Same result with both. Okay, ready? Take those arms, drop back behind your head. Elbows should remain tucked in, not out. Core is tight, ready? Straighten up towards the ceiling, extend back. Good, squeeze up, extend. Squeeze up, extend. Good, now keep your head and neck neutral as you're getting that good flexion of the elbow. As you extend up, squeeze those tricep muscles, the back of the arm. Excellent job. Core is tight. Good, keep those elbows tucked in. If you find them splaying out, pull them right back in towards those ears. Good, four more reps. That's four, squeeze it up, control it down. That's three, bend it down. That's two, and last one. Good job, take a rest. Good, you can drop your weight, shake your arms out. Excellent work. Okay. All right, we'll set it up for set two. Grab your weight. Again, behind your head, core is tight. Slight bend in those knees. Tuck those elbows in and go. Stretch it up. Bend those elbows, let that weight fall back. Good, nice and control. Super wheeze the back of those arms. Excellent, breathe through this. Good, keep those elbows tight to your head and think about your mo motion. So it should be controlled as you lift and as you lower, you're engaging those triceps and boy, do they burn. Good, squeeze your core tighter, pull that belly button in. Extend those arms, squeeze the back, squeeze those triceps. Good, we have two more. Extend, squeeze for two. Last one, extend, good, take a rest. Excellent job. Always such a good exercise to tone and fatigue out that muscle. All right. You can do some gentle neck rolls if you feel any discomfort in the head. We'll set it up for set three. Take that weight or weights, drop the elbows, and go. Squeeze it up. Good. Bend back. Squeeze and lift. Good. Control. Tuck those elbows back in towards your ears. Bend those knees. Squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. Good. You've got this, ladies. You're doing awesome. Bend and squeeze. This is our final set of these. By this point, they should be burning. You feel that lactic acid build up in the muscle. That's a good thing. Good, finish strong. We have four. Bend it back, squeeze it up for three. That's two. And last one, good job. All right, you can drop that weight. We're gonna come back to triceps for our next exercise after this. All right, so single leg deadlift and then so you're going to tap you're going to tap with um if you can come all the way to the ground then you're going to bring the leg right out in front so i take my opposite arm you can hold the weight if you'd like bend down if you can reach the ground you reach the ground then your leg comes out in front and you tap it okay now if that's too complex stick with just the single leg deadlift coming up and down if you want to do just the tap in front it's just straight out in front, kicking back straight out in front. Otherwise, you combine the two. All I'm doing is I'm switching my arm as I kick. If you can, you try not to touch your left foot to the ground in between the exchange. So that makes your right leg really have to stabilize and work to hold yourself up. If you have to tap because you're going to lose your balance, then do your deadlift, tap, then reach out in front, okay? All right, ready? So we'll start on the right leg. So right leg is stabilizing, left leg is gonna kick back. I bring my left arm, I bend forward at the hips, sitting at my heel, right leg comes up, 
tap my toe. Good. Bend forward, tap the ground. Left leg comes up, I tap and reach. Good, good bend down at the hips. Right leg comes forward. I, I mean left leg, I'm sorry. Good, sit in that heel, stabilize and reach. Now this is all about your form. This is slow and controlled, not fast. You're going to feel your right leg having to work pretty hard, shaking to hold you up. Good. Now remember when you bend for that deadlift, you're keeping that back flat, sitting in the heels and reach. Good, take a rest. Awesome job. We're gonna do the opposite on the left side. You may find that one side is better with balance than the other. So I'm sta stabilizing now my left, my right leg is gonna come behind. Bend at the hips, I tap down to the ground. My right leg comes forward and I reach with my opposite arm. Good. It's a little complex, but we're really working on balance and strength here. Good. Bend at the hips, sit in the heel, bring the leg forward, reach for that toe. Good. Bend at the hips, sit in that heel, keep that head and neck up. That's going to help you with the balance. Core is tight. Tap and reach. Good. Tap it down and reach it forward. Excellent, tap, reach, good, one more. Bend at those hips, sit in that heel, good deadlift form, and reach it forward. Good, take a rest. And you mainly feel that, like I said, on the leg that you're using to stabilize. All right, back to the right, so right leg is stabilizing. Ready, right arm is extended, tap down with that left. Good, bring that left leg forward, tap with the right. Good, lean at the hips, not the knees. Good, concentrate on your form. These are slow and methodical. These are not fast. Excellent. Breathe and reach. Sit in that heel, core is tight. Good, reach it up. Sit in that heel. Tap and reach that foot forward. Good, we have one more on this side. Come down, bend, and reach it all the way through. Excellent, take a rest, a brief rest, and we'll set it up for our last set. Stabilizing on that left leg, left arm out, right arm ready to come down, and go. Bend at the hips, sit in that heel, Kick that leg straight through. Nice flexed foot. Reach for that toe if you can. Otherwise, just do what you can do. Balance is something that's so important to practice and work on. Good. Control as you bend and squeeze it up. Control as you bend and squeeze it up. Good job, ladies, you've got this. Bend, squeeze, bend, kick it through. Last one, chest is up, sit in that heel, and reach it forward, good job. All right, we're gonna grab our weights for some tricep kickbacks. Okay, you're gonna bend at the elbows, extend all the way back. So in your tricep kickbacks, Legs together, hinge at the hips, stick your buttocks out. Elbows come in line with your body, a little bit higher than your back. Extend all the way up. Okay, ready, go. Bend, extend. Good, squeeze the tricep. So as you extend the arm, just give it one second of a squeeze, extra squeeze, so you tighten up that muscle. Good, make sure you're keeping your head and neck neutral. Look out in front of the body. Good, don't lose that bend. It's very important to keep that back bent. Good, sit in the heels. Good, we have three, we have two, and one. Good, now rest your weight. Bring your arms right back up. 
and pulse straight up towards the ceiling. Palms are up and you're just pulsing. Still keeping that good bend in the back. Arms are just coming slightly up and down. Palms are facing the ceiling. Good, pulse it. Keep that neck neutral so you don't feel any tightness in the neck. Lean forward more, bend more. See if you can get your arms higher. Good, three, two, and one, good. Grab your weight, stand up for a second. Roll the head and neck if you need to. Roll the shoulders. Hinge at those hips. Elbows tight. Good. Go right back into it. Bend and extend. Good job. Elbows tight to your torso. Extend. Squeeze those triceps, which means we are locking out our elbow joint. Excellent job. Your gaze should be out in front of you towards the floor. Good, we have four, three, two, one. Good, drop your weight. Arms come straight up. Now I want you to try to bring your thumbs together. So you're pulsing up, palms are up. Try to tap your thumbs and pulse up and down. Sorry for that angle. Good. Pulse up and down, sit, bend more at the hips. Get the arms higher. Good, so you're pulsing up and in, up and in, up and in, up and in. Good, you've got this, relax the neck. Breathe. If you feel it in your neck, bend forward more. And three, two, one, good, stand up. Shake it out. Roll your neck. Roll your shoulders if you want to. Grab those weights. We'll set it up for a final set. You should be feeling your triceps. Hinge at those hips, elbows tight, and ready, go. Good, extend the back of the arms. Think about each motion. Think about the muscle that you're working. Control as you bend, control as you extend. Excellent job, ladies. Bend, extend. Good, squeeze that core tight. We have four, we have three, we have two, and last one, good job, drop the weights. Arms extended, palms up, pulse straight up, up and in, up and in. Good. Like you're reaching your hands towards the ceiling. And keep pulsing. You should really feel this in the back of the arms. Excellent. Keep it going. Pulse. Reach. And we have six, five, four. That's three. That's two. And that's one. Good, good job. Shake it out. Okay. We're going to go down to the ground. We're gonna work on some fire hydrant kicks. So you're going to be on all fours. Like I said, outer thighs and glutes. Um, so what this looks like is you're on all fours. You bring one leg out to fire hydrant, and you're gonna kick, and then you bring it back in, and you kick out, okay? So from this angle, it looks like fire hydrant, kick to extend, back to fire hydrant, kick to extend, back to fire hydrant, okay? So hands are lined up underneath shoulders, you're on both knees, take your right leg, try to keep those hips down, bring it out to the side, kick to extend, bring it right back in. Good, out and kick. Good, out and kick. Good job. Now you're stabilizing on that left leg, so you're gonna feel the fatigue in that glute and that leg. Good job. And as I bring my knee out, I'm just bending like my fire hydrant, then I extend at the knee, and I just kick out, reaching for the opposite wall. So I'm reaching to the right side, keeping my foot in a flex position. Excellent job. And we have three more. Three, good, two, 
And last one. Good. Now squeeze and uh, actually just switch right over to the opposite leg. No rest between. Ready? Pick the left leg, bend, pick it out. Pull it back in. Good. Try to focus on not rotating too much at the hips so your hips are staying down towards the ground. Keeping that foot flexed, toes are not pointed. Bring that knee out, kick out to the side, pull the leg back in. Your left leg never touches the ground in between these repetitions. Good, core is tight. Reach it out, pull it in. Now you're gonna feel that right leg start to scream at you. Good, we have four more on this side. Kick it out. Good, that's three. That's two. And last one, good. Again, now let's stabilize on the left. We're gonna work the right and go. Bend, kick it out. Good, kick it out, pull it in. Bend in the fire hydrant. Once you get in the fire hydrant, then extend. So you then extend at the knee, pull it in. Awesome. You should feel your glutes on this. On either side, those glutes and outer thighs should be burning. Awesome job. Good, bring it out, extend, kick, bite through that burn. Final four on the right leg, that's four. Good, that's three. That's two. And last one on the right, excellent job. Switch over to the left, stabilize on the right leg. Bring that left leg bent and extend. Pull it right back in. Good, focus on not rotating those hips. Like I say, when you bring that leg out, try not to let the hips flay out. Keep them tucked under if you can. That isolates the muscle a little bit more. Good job. Think about each motion here. Good, ladies, you're doing awesome. You've got this. Fight through that burn. Like I said, those glutes should be screaming at you by now. It's a good scream. Four more, final four. Three. Good, that's two. And last one, good job. All right, grab two weights. We're going to go into a bridge with some um, tricep um, extensions. So grab two weights that you would use for skull crushers, okay? So whatever you would use for skull crushers is what you would wanna grab. You're gonna lie on your back. Sorry, this a little more. You're lie on your back, grab both dumbbells. Or you can have one actually, you don't need two. You're going to bridge up. Arms are gonna be extended, you're gonna hold your bridge. We're gonna bend and extend at the arms. Again, more triceps. That's what we're working on as and glutes, okay? So first get into your bridge position, set it up. Weight in the heels, squeeze those glutes as tight as you can, take your weights. Straighten out those arms, ready? Weights come back towards your ears, extend. Good, bend and extend all the way up. Good, now don't lose the bridge. Squeeze your glutes the entire time, keeping those hips lifted as high as you can. Good, core is strong, bend and lift. Excellent, squeeze. Bend at the elbows, extend all the way. Squeeze the butt even higher. Good, keep it up there. Good, we have three more. That's three. That's two. And last repetition, good job. You can choose to hold the bridge if you want between. If so, you can do pulses. If you want to keep it up there, feel free to keep it up there. If you're using this as a rest, you can rest. Otherwise, you can lower and lift the hips as you're resting the arms keeping the weight in the heels, dropping the glutes down, squeezing up. Okay, ready, set it up for set two, grab your weight right up above shoulders and go. Bend at the elbows, squeeze. Good, keep that bridge, weight in the heels, squeeze your glutes 
abs are tight, hips are lifted, feel those hamstrings engaged. Exhale, bend at the elbows, try not to move that elbow, that's your pivot point. Keep it stable. Bend, extend, squeeze the back of the arm. Don't lose those glutes, squeeze them tight. And we have three, good, we have two, we have one. Again, you can rest the weight if you wanna keep your hips up. Lower and lift, good, pulse, lower and lift. Weight in those heels, keep those hips lifted. Good, small, tiny pulses, this is an active rest. Good job, lower and squeeze. All right, set it up for set three. Grab those weights, hold that bridge, extend those arms, bend at the elbows, extend. Good, bend, extend, straight. Awesome, keep those hips as high as you possibly can, squeeze those glutes. Weights are coming down towards your ears. Core is tight. Exhale as you extend. Good, keep working those triceps. Final three repetitions, bend, extend, and squeeze. Bend, extend, and squeeze, good. And last one, good, keep those hips up if you can, and let's pulse it out. Good, drop those hips and squeeze it up, press through those heels. Good, extra tight squeeze. Let's go for 10, nine, that's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, good job. All right, last exercise of the day, we're gonna do a lower uh, core plank and then we're gonna be done. Because I can't not work your abs, especially with a plank, all right. Take your time. I know you probably thought it was gonna be over. All right, so in your lower core plank, what you're going to do is your arms are gonna be extended straight. You're in your plank, you tuck your knees in, you actually round out your back like a cat. You're gonna extend one leg, pull it in, other leg, pull it in, okay? So your back is a little bit rounded, but what we're doing here is we're really pulling the belly button in towards your spine, okay? Just like a a cat pose in yoga. Hands come right underneath shoulders, straight legs, drop those hips, pull the belly button in. Now walk your feet in just a little. Bend your knees, they hover right over the ground. Right leg extend back, pull it in. Left leg, pull it in. Good, one leg at a time. It's slow and methodical, thinking about your range, thinking about what muscle you're working. Good, squeeze the belly button and breathe. Good, pull those abs in, pull that belly button to the spine, tight as you can. Good, and we have four, three, two, one. Good, take a short little rest. Next set, I'm going to have you be in your plank and you're just gonna bend your knees down and extend. So hips are flat and you're just bending, extending. Staying up on the toes the whole time, covering your weight right over the mat. Ready? Arms, line them up underneath shoulders, up on those toes. Get into your plank format, squeeze your core. Ready, bend the knees, hover them right over the ground, extend, bend, extend. Bend, you hold for one count, then you extend the knees fully. Good. Abs are nice and tight. Good, focus on your motion here. Bend those knees, pull that belly button in. Good, we have three, two, and last one, excellent, take a little rest. Good, second set, you're gonna be 
in this position. You're going to walk it to the right, back and center. Walk it to the left, back and center. Okay? If that's too much for you, just hold the plank position. Again, the knees are hovering right over the mat. Ready? Hands lined up underneath shoulders. Start straight, straight arm plank. Tuck those knees. Walk those feet in a little bit. Tuck your knees so they're right over the mat. Step right together. Center together. Left together. Center together. Right together. Center together. Left together. Center. Right. Center. Left. Center, right, squeeze the core, squeeze the belly button as you're doing this. Knees, don't let them touch the mat. Good, hold those abs in as tight as you can and breathe through it. This is our final set of the day. Finish strong. Good, right, together. Center, left, good. Now get into your plank, regular plank. Everything is straight and just hold it for 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. You can sit back, stretch into child's pose if you would like. You guys did fantastic. Thank you for joining me today. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another workout. Good job. Keep smiling. Stay healthy. See you all again soon, okay? Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.